Coach, your general thoughts on the 2017 recruiting class? We're very pleased with the class this um, this year. Um, I think it it, it it hits every um, hole that we've had, and um, it allows us to continue building the team. We've decided to build from the back forward from the first year to the fourth year, um, and we've added uh, quite a, a few number of dangerous pieces to um, to help us succeed next year. Well, let's uh, talk about some of those pieces, and let's start with uh, Claire Castaneda. You know, Claire is a player from Los Fresnos. She's a very technical. She's had um, some very good coaching at the Lone Star Soccer Club up in San Antonio. Um, and she's going to be able to come in and play a variety of positions, which, uh, which helps. Um, so we're very excited that she's chosen to continue her career here at UTRGV. Madeline Hepker. You know, we're very pleased that Maddie has chosen to continue her career here at UTRGV. She's a very athletic, physical player that can play in multiple positions. Um, she's very hardworking. And um, I really think that she's going to compete very well for uh, playing time this, this, this upcoming season. Anna Hover. You know, Anna is a player that um, we were very fortunate to get. She turned down places like Oklahoma State, UNLV to, to sign with UTRGV. Um, you know, there was times last year when we dominated games for long periods of time, created many, many chances, but we just didn't get the fruits of that labor in terms of goal scoring. Uh, we're hoping the addition of, uh, of Anna will kind of move that forward. How about with uh, Maley Lunardi? You know, when we saw a 5'11 goalkeeper available uh, that was being recruited by a number of uh, Division I teams from up north, we decided to, um, to go in and, and recruit um, this player. We, we're very happy with her. Um, we think she's going to compete in what may be the best three goalkeepers in the conference. Um, so I'm very, very pleased with um, our goalkeeping compartment next year. I think it will be an interesting competition between the three of them. Jada McLean. Jada is a very hardworking fast forward from California. She's again a player that we've been recruiting for a long time. Um, we think that she will also come in and kind of fill this this goal scoring um, uh, question that we have that we're trying to, to fix. Um, and I think uh, she's going to surprise a lot of people. A very good player. How about Tina Sophie Nielsen? You know, one thing that we, we set out to do when we looked for this recruiting class was find a specific player that can play left back, a specialist in that position. Um, you know, we took some searching. Uh, we had a number of candidates, but um, Tina turned to be the best one out of all of them. Um, she's very hardworking, very positionally sound. Uh, will do a great job for us. How about Gina Steiner? Gina's another player that we, um, we were very impressed with at a combine in Germany. Um, hardworking, great personality, great technique, will um, will certainly impact the game in our conference. Uh, I think she'll turn some heads. And Katie Stokely. Katie Stokely comes from uh, one of the best clubs in the country. That's the Capillary Soccer League Castle ECNL team. She's a, a Division One signee with UNC Wilmington. She's had the fortune in the past year to play for the best junior college coach in terms of development, Andy Stokes at Lewisburg College. Um, so we know what kind of player we're getting. Um, She's going to be a leader and a big, big uh, piece of our defense.